This is a fast workflow centric rundown of a much longer and step by step video on my Patreon, but a friend of mine convinced me to do this on my channel, so let's go. Model a glass, some blueberries, and a drop cloth in Houdini, or import the one you'd made in the Blender video above, and split it into its pieces. I usually don't model in Houdini unless I need a whole procedural setup, but that's just me. You do you. By the way, you can download Houdini Apprentice for free just like Blender, but you can only use it to learn on. Once you have all the objects you want, create a dopnet and wire up the usuals like gravity and some static objects. You can use the shelf tools too if you want, it's up to you. Take the stack of blueberries that you did in Blender or made in Houdini and wire them into the dopnet as rigid bodies in this case. But a vellum or a fem setup would work too if you want squishies. You can also emit rigid bodies or vellum into the glass, but I didn't do that here. Run the simulation and <laughs> yell at your monitor. Seriously, it can hear you. Then quietly realize your collision settings are wrong and fix them. Run it again and do the dance of joy or whatever it is you do when you're happy. Once the blueberries or whatever you use works, set up a flip solver for the fluids and wire it in. You can try the new SOP workflow or stick to the old DOPS one. Again, it's up to you as there are many paths to the same destination. Once that works and you've tested it once or twice and it's perfect, time to smash the whole thing. Set up another static object and have it animate through the blueberries in the liquid. Make sure to wire it correctly in the dop net and run it and see if it works. It won't, so do it again until it does. It might be a good idea to test it on just the blueberries first, just saying. You can fracture the glass if you want and pull a switcheroo, or just yank the glass down in one frame because we aren't rendering it here, and watch all of your dreams come true. Or you can sign up and watch the Patreon video and help all of our dreams come true. Once it works with the blueberries, test it with both the object and the fluid. Using caching here helps and allows you to make that 5th or 11th cup of coffee while you wait. Check it. If it works, move on to the shading and lighting. This one was pretty much the same as I did in the Blender video, but I'd used a simple PBR trick to get the look I wanted in Solaris, then rendered it out in Karma CPU. It would probably be way faster with XPU, but you probably want to use Material X for the liquid in that case. Anyway, the whole thing is up on my Patreon if you're interested, the link is in the description. There's quite a bit up there and lots of Houdini stuff that never makes it to YouTube. And a whole lot more coming if you're interested. I use Houdini for my day job, so yeah, check it out. Once you're done, render it out and go outside, get some sun, or help an old lady cross the street. Whatever you do though, be excellent to each other. Deal?